Hello everyone, welcome to another Flexboard View videos. We're going to be showing you the new features and some of the fixes for version 5.0388. Alright, the most obvious thing that comes up as soon as you move the mouse, you can see on the bottom half of the board there is a bluish green circle. That is the ghost cursor. It's a feature that was previously implemented, taken away, but then now reactivated with some extra controls. The ghost cursor simply represents on the other half of the board where your current mouse pointer is if you drilled through the board. And as you can see, it just flips over back and forth seamlessly. If you want to change the parameters or disable this, you can go to Program Preferences, and you can have the display cursor removed or active. If you want to change the color parameters of the ghost cursor, go all the way to the bottom, you can change the color, you can decide whether it wants to be a filled circle or just a ring, the diameter and the ring thickness if that's applicable. The next feature is the zoom ring which allows people such as myself we find it a little bit difficult to keep track of where the parts are. So we have a lot of small parts here. If we say go into schematic. And when we click on the particular part in the schematic, you'll see that the concentric rings zoom in on the particular part. To be fair, the part is always going to be centered into the display, but it still is a visual assistant so that by the time you finish clicking on one side you can see where it's gone in the middle because it is not uncommon to lose track of everything when it's down at this scale so yeah you can either right click on the schematic or you can just click on the part up here and the same effect occurs the next thing that's changed is that when you show the net web it will try to find a test point to be the nucleation point for the NetWeb to spawn from. So if we go SMC on off L, you can see it's gone straight to a test point as priority. Again, test point. This will happen if you're doing a search from PDF or if you're doing a search from the search windows such as SMC on off L. Again, prioritizes the test point. If, however, you select it from within the part pins, it will focus on the part, the particular pin, because the pin is the priority. One item that has been fixed in this version is the rotation around center facility. Previously, there was a problem where if you tried to rotate around one of the particular butterfly sides, it would not rotate around that cursor. That has now been fixed. We can now rotate either on the top side there or down here. It doesn't matter. One of the things that have been corrected is when board views are loaded, it will now make sure that it folds the butterfly line along the longest edge. There are some board views such as 2536 that were released and they have the short edge as the fold line. But as you can see now, that has been corrected. This is an automatic thing. Flexboard view will look for the longest edge, rotate the board if it needs to. That's everything for this release. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, leave a comment down in the comment section. <laughs>